It is 10, 10 a.m. and I had one trade with AABB and this, you can also say this thing was a bit of a, I guess an ascending triangle because it's has all these lows right here and they're starting to get a bit higher over a longer period of time. It starts to get congested, but we still have this original resistance level of roughly maybe eight and a half, right? Well, not eight and a half, but 805. And the idea was is that, you know, it's eventually building itself up for a breakout. And that's essentially what this one did. It was also the second green day. It isn't very significant if you look at a long-term chart, but it did have a previous first green day. So it was showing that there was like an opportunity that this thing can uptrend. I did buy 2,500 shares at 10 o'clock and that was at 812. So 10 o'clock was right here at um, 812 and I got in because it was finally breaking past this level and I didn't buy like right before I was going to do it like I normally do because with AABB I kind of wanted it to already start the uptrend because there could always be hidden sellers especially on the OTC that you know might have a lot of bag holders or stuff like that so when I got in right here I was in for the setup I drew a trend line from the bottom to the top so this was like the very aggressive par and this was like when I should be cutting my position I did sell just 500 shares a portion of my position while well, it was slightly up trending at 82 and that was the next minute at 1001 there was a sell right here with 500 shares and then I sold a thousand shares at 84 at 1002 when it was starting to up trend much more and this was essentially my real sell where I'm selling half of my position for um you know a profit while it's uptrending i did sell a tiny 500 share piece so that if it were to maybe uptrend a little bit and then it starts to fail immediately at least i sold 500 shares and that can help me um you know be more break even or you know not lose as much and i did get out of my last position at 84 and a half at 1005 because it was looking like it was going to break the trend line and it wasn't a hundred percent sure you know um, at the time that it was going to break under the trend line and go back to the 83s but it sure looked like it when it was just showing that the person at the bid was very um thin and it was starting to get taken out i did get out on my last position there at 84 and a half and yeah it did break below 84 and it officially got into 83s again which broke the trend line and it downtrended it's even below vwap at this point i don't want to trade this one anymore that's really about it there were a lot of setups not really perfect i was looking at gxxy for a breakout past this 26 27 level we opened on the gap up already at 27 which wasn't ideal it wasn't training with the best volume here it was kind of looking weird it did get higher i mean i got to the 35s but the way this one traded um it was something that i didn't want to be a part of but it did work out and nothing with BMIX. Um, this one was interesting. This one had like, you know, a morning spike. And then it went all the way back to the bottom. There was a big sell, I think, at some point. But this one was pretty interesting. And this one offered um, profitability. Not really the best OTC. But I thought it was interesting in that it had this morning spike. And it came all the way back to the bottom. And this one, I don't like this stock at all but it is uptrending i thought that maybe it could have like a date right here where it has volume right and then it just sells off the next day and if you look further back it's done that multiple times even back here but it's actually trying to go for a second day which is pretty impressive maybe the news they have is really that good or maybe some shorts got in this and they're getting squeezed but there was a point where I could have bought this when it was at 60 because it was trading back and forth. It was holding support. It was, um, you know, ideally going to break past the previous day high, which was um, the 68 level. And it just started to work past VWAP. And then it had this rug pull right here, but then it came back. I don't like the way this one trades. And then it breaks the level right here. And then it breaks that multi-day um, high, or I guess the previous day high of 68 and a half. And then it's, it got a high of 75. I just don't like the way this one trades. But it did offer opportunity. Maybe I could have traded this one or GXXY. Maybe even MRES. But I at least traded AABB. 
and this is the one that I was most comfortable with out of all of them. It's something that I've traded before, and yeah, I'll make an update later, but this was a pretty nice trade for what it was. There are clearly more opportunities out there. It is 11.14 p.m. and I am here to call it off. Overall, I'm going to be up on a day $6.50, and that was trading AABB way back here, and that was the ascending triangle setup. There wasn't really anything else with it that I was interested in doing. Uh, this one did do that uptrend, but I didn't like the way it did it. And VAPR, I just don't like this one in general, the way it trades. It did downtrend later in the day, and I was watching it for a potential late afternoon panic but it didn't do anything uh, convincing or it wasn't like very sharp in a decline this was just kind of gradual it didn't really offer something for me uh, to consider a dip by setup so that's pretty much about it there wasn't anything else that I was interested in this one sold off pretty massively it's probably going to be off of the watch list but yeah I just had that trade there with a A B B and I think the best part is that I did trade the right amount of size which has been something that I've been working on.